Okay, I thought I'd start this video by showing a handy thing. I think you know, me, like a lot of metal workers, started out as woodworkers. And uh, I've got my shopsmith here in the corner of my workshop. I made a handy blueprint reading and project preparation table. I just took a, a piece, I think it's a two foot by four foot piece of nice plywood, put a couple of uh, pieces of wood on the side that make a nice tight fit around the the actual uh, fence of the or the table excuse me of the shopsmith so it makes a nice blueprint table and I've got laid out here this is the current project these are a 5 16 inch globe valves from a PM research in New York I got a whole set of them here's the I've got two sets of the 5 16 as well as some of the fittings this is the quarter inch size and I got two sets of globe valve kits as well and then I had bought this years ago which piqued my interest in it these are the 3 16 inch size and I ordered some fittings to go with that as well so <clears throat> I found on the home uh, the model engine machinist website um, a guide uh, some ideas about making a jig to machine the globe valve and that's what this is, the beginning of it's two pieces of three six, excuse me, um, three eighths inch thick aluminum that first I crazy glued together, then I machined them to size. It's roughly an inch by an inch, actually five sixteenths on this side, just a little bit longer than that on the tall uh, side, which doesn't really matter. And I've got it screwed together with a couple of four forty screws, which, as you can see, I should have placed higher up because um, I had to grind them down so they'll clear. Anyway, I'm getting ready to uh, machine open this uh, up, and I'll do that. I'll show that in my next video um, if I make a nice jig to hold the globe valve so that I can machine the globe valve. The other thing I wanted to show was, and of course I made a little sketch here and step-by-step -step thought process. You can see kind of the idea that I'm going to go. Um, and these are the, the plans. They send you a nice set of plans from PM Research, so... Anyway, thought I'd show this. Um, I started a thread on Chasky, and about the, the the directions from PM Research call for a flat bottom drill bit, and they don't actually say that. They say a 180 degree point, which confused me because they use the word point. But uh, the purpose of this is apparently to make a nice flat surface for the uh, the bearing. Uh, the th the spindle to open and close. Anyway, I found a nice video on YouTube. I'll put a link on that on Chasky. But as you can see, I ground a couple of <clears throat> drill bits, and you you grind them flat basically, and then you put a uh, a relief on there so that they can cut. And I did that for both of these. So I hope you can see that. I'm doing this single-handed here. The, the video that I'm going to post the link to shows a nice, um, shows it nicely done. And this is the larger one for the D, it's a D sized drill bit. I actually gashed the center of the web like you would do for a, an end mill. Um, but the bottoms are flat, I checked them with a square and I put a relief on them and hopefully they'll cut well. So next step in the process is to hollow this baby out and make a nice jig to hold the, hold the valve body stable and then I can start machining it. So there you go. Updates posted soon. Thank you.